All right, so this is the complete electrical system out of one of the Ryobi lawnmowers. I've cut and spliced it so that you can see how it works and how to bypass things on it. This is at least what worked for me. Uh, this wire set, I have no idea what it's for. It connects to nothing at all. This is exactly the way it was in the mower. And I looked on my uh, riding mower. It doesn't need to be connected. This, one thing I found, there's a tilt sensor in this. If you mount this this way, your mower will never turn on. It has to be mounted flat. So they do this to keep you from starting it with it tipped up. Uh, the three wires here to the motor windings, the blue, the yellow, the green, just have to be connected to the corresponding wires on the motor. This set here is for the lighting. Uh, you could just have it disconnected, it won't hurt anything. These are your master power wires, you're hot near ground. You can see they lead across to the uh, plug where it goes into the battery. In the middle of it, there's a place for the key, which I replaced with a on-off switch. There is also, there's a four-wire set here. Your red wire connects to nothing at all. Your yellow and brown connect together, and then they attach to the black. That's what turns the main system on and off. You'll also have one that is for the sensor to tell if you've got the the handle latched. Since you won't be needing it, the gray wire connects to nothing. The green and the black have to be connected to each other. So, let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. I plug this in, and then turn my master power on. Lights come on here, and then when I turn this switch, And there it is. And off. And if I turn this off, your light will stay on for just a second before it turns off. Now, as I was saying, if you tip this upright, I can do the same process. And nothing is going to happen. So you have to have this tipped flat, or it's not going to work. It took me quite a while with my first setup because I wanted to mount them sideways and I could not figure out why I couldn't get it to turn on, and that was the reason. So, you should be able to see everything you need to here. Uh, I'm going to try to make a wiring diagram for it. Uh, my drawing is kind of crude, but I will see if I can put one on there along with this video. So hope this answers any questions about how that system works.